Hey guys, Andrada here. Last week I published on LinkedIn an article in which I was suggesting job seekers now more than before to make a video in which they showcase their talents, their skills, and everything they have to bring on the table for um, an employer that can see their video. Why not? So one of the purposes of this video is to actually showcase my talents as a writer. And I intend to read to you short passages from um, the second book, from my second book, um, Seven Padlocks, A Story of Self-Discovery in the 19th Century, a book that I released last year in August. And the second purpose of this video is uh, to take Jacqueline's way advice in showing people how important it is to take care of our mental well-being and to show them how but that will be reflected through the content that I will be reading to you. I hope you don't mind, but I will be reading from the manuscript that I have on my laptop, as of course, like a writer that respects themselves, I don't have a physical copy of my own book. But what else I would like to tell you is that the chapters are numbers, uh, numbered as padlocks, so you will be hearing me uh, telling you padlock number three, padlock number four, and so on. I just wanted you to know why. So it goes like this, and we will be starting with chapter number three, the end of chapter number three, and we will move on to the beginning of chapter number four. So here we go. Chapter, num chapter number three is called Silent Thread. Padlock number three is called Silent Thread. And the passage that I would like to read to you today goes like this. Let us all hold hands, please, Margot proceeded. I have a priceless message for you both, and I need you to be fully engaged and listening further on. Can you do that? The ladies hold hands and advised and replied yes in a voice. They were extremely curious, almost impatient. You need to listen carefully as this will not be repeated to you, neither by me nor by anyone else in this life. So pay close attention. First of all, let's silence the mind so that you do not get distracted by anything else. Margot taught the two ladies a very simple yet powerful breathing technique. They had to slowly inhale, hold on to the breath for a few seconds, and then slowly exhale while closing their eyes. They did this several times until Margot felt that the ladies were fully present and ready to receive the message. Padlock number four is called Worry Less, Metamorphosis. Margot waited in silence for a few minutes and then she spoke. Bring your focus to your forehead as if you were seeing things through that spot. She allowed a few seconds for this to happen, then she carried on. There is a rainbow you too will walk on. Each color will be a lesson and a triumph. From that rainbow, choose one color which you want to be present in your life under all aspects. Be aware of the fact that there will be wind, there will be breeze, and there will be dance within the color you select. The two of you are meant to walk this journey together. But the lessons you need to learn are individual. Make sure you communicate with each other, but keep some aspects to your own selves too. Let go of the masks you wear in front of each other. These masks are dangerous and may let your strong thread slip through your fingers. Hold on to it with openness and genuine care, and you will only gain a lifetime bond. Nature is all around you and should be the one to give you hope. Care for it, listen to it, and escape into it in clouds together. People will try to diminish the importance of your existence. Yet if you collaborate with each other on a deeper level, you will hold the golden ingot. Wherever you go, make sure you're aware of your own worth, yet never step on bodies to achieve your purpose. The more you become arrogant and selfish, the less the joy in your life. 
the more you are grateful for what you have. Celebrate small victories and dress yourselves up in enchantment. The more you will feel alive and people will adore you. But the ones who will adore you will be the ones who truly believe in who you are and what you can do. Meaningful relationships will get born, so make sure you nurture those, not the shallow glory of an ephemeral moment. Rise and walk towards your future while carrying a heartfelt smile on your faces. So here the reading from my book ends, but I do hope that you managed to spot those little sparks of encouragement and teaching that I do hope that you will take away with you and try to practice. Because these are small tips that you can implement in your life every single day, regardless of the time of the year, regardless of the situation that is going on out there in the world. Take care, be good to yourselves and to others, much love, and we'll see each other soon.